is Vivian Jenna Wilson. I'm just gonna come on here and say that I'm doing well. I'm doing fine, actually. I'm formulating a response and whatnot. It's being work done, it's being work done. Just hold your goddamn horses for five more seconds, okay? I promise it's getting worked on. Your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead. Killed by the woke mind virus. I lost my son, essentially. Uh, so, you know, they, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah, I... All right, I'm, so they, the reason it's called dead naming is because... There's a lot of stuff I need to debunk, which I will get to, don't worry. But I want to start with what I find the funniest, which is the notorious, slightly autistic tweet. This is going to be a bit, so just bear with me. Recently, Elon Musk, who is known as one of the richest people in the world, is making headlines for allegedly being a careless and cruel father. The source? his daughter. She has confirmed the rumors that Elon Musk has made her feel unloved because she is transgender. Now, Elon Musk has his own side of the story to explain and it seems like the family drama has just begun. So what are the shocking rumors that she had decided to unveil after 20 years? Sit back and relax as we unwind all the details of this family feud. He doesn't know what I was like as a child because he quite simply wasn't there. And in the little time that he was, I was relentlessly harassed from my femininity and queerness. So. Elon Musk's daughter's comments came right after Elon Musk made a shocking statement about his 20-year-old son, saying he's dead to him. This came up during an interview with conservative commentator Jordan Peterson. For those who don't know, Musk's daughter, who transitioned to female and changed her name to Vivian Jenna Wilson in 2022, has dropped Musk's last name and stated she no longer wishes to be related to him in any way. Keeping it short, Wilson and her twin brother were born to Elon Musk and his first wife, Justine Musk who's an author. After Wilson's parents got a divorce in 2008, they decided to share time with her. This means she lived in two different homes in Los Angeles, spending time with each of them. Speaking of Elon Musk, who is now 53, is one of the richest people in the world thanks to his roles as CEO of Tesla and founder of SpaceX. Recently, he's also made headlines in politics by endorsing former President Donald Trump for another term. Musk has 12 kids, including Wilson. These days, Wilson is a college student majoring in languages and has mostly kept a low profile. She did make headlines in 2022 when she went to court in California to change her name and publicly distanced herself from her father. In a court filing, she said, I no longer live with or wish to be related to my biological father in any way, shape or form, she said in the court filing. She told NBC News that she was surprised by all the news about her court paper that she wrote when she was 18. In the interview, she said she still believes in what she wrote, but if she had known it would get so much attention, she might have chosen her words more carefully. Wilson also said she hasn't talked to Musk in about four years and is determined not to let him define who she is. She stated, I would like to emphasize one thing. I am an adult. I am 20 years old. I am not a child. My life should be defined by my own choices. However, just this week, Elon Musk talked about her during a live video with a man named Jordan Peterson. He said he didn't like how Wilson identifies herself and claimed he was tricked into supporting her when she was younger. This made Wilson upset, and she replied to him saying his stories about her childhood were not true. She pointed out that he wasn't around much when she was growing up, so he doesn't really know her. So believe me or not, but I didn't expect that Elon would play the victim card here. Musk has portrayed himself as a victim in the situation involving Wilson's gender transition and legal name change. She took her mother Justine Wilson's surname in 2022. Musk claimed he was tricked into signing papers that allowed Vivian to start puberty blockers. So I was, I was tricked into doing this um, and uh, it, it wasn't explained to me that puberty blockers are actually just sterilization drugs. Um, so, um, anyway, uh, and so I lost my son, essentially. Uh. Referring to Wilson with male pronouns and her birth name, Musk expressed sorrow, saying his son had been killed by the woke mind virus. He admitted that this family issue pushed him towards far-right politics in recent years. He said, I lost my son, essentially, Musk said. He used Wilson's birth name, also known as a dead name for transgender people, and said she was dead, killed by the woke mind virus. However, a few hours after the interview was aired, Musk reshared a tweet on X, which said, I'm 100% in support of adults pursuing whatever gender they please, by whatever means they like. 
more power to you. However, we will look back at this time when doctors and professionals pressured parents to perform surgery and give hormones to asterisk children asterisk with great shame and regret. The detransition stories are just starting and they are devastating. These stories always include the parents and children being bullied into making irreversible decisions. They make decisions they don't fully understand but are told will solve a complex problem. However, in most cases, this problem is solved best with love, compassion, counseling, and time. Adolescence is challenging 100% of the time as we all have experienced. However, on Thursday, Wilson clapped back at Musk on her Threads account. She first addressed a tweet from Monday where he deadnamed and misgendered her, claiming she was born gay and slightly autistic. Musk said he had known this about Vivian since she was four because she would pick out clothes for him, saying they were fabulous and that she had a love for musicals. On her thread account, Wilson addressed, sharing the Elon Musk tweet, tweet with her dead name covered up, saying, there's a lot of stuff I need to debunk, which I will get to, don't worry, but I want to start with what I find the funniest, which is the notorious is lightly autistic tweet. In a second post, Wilson wrote, this is entirely fake. Wilson wrote in a second post, like, literally none of this ever happened, ever. I don't even know where he got this from. My best guess is that he went to the Milo Yiannopoulos School of Gay Stereotypes, just picked some at random and said, uh, good enough, in a last ditch attempt to garner sympathy points when he is so obviously in the wrong, even in his own fucking story. Yiannopoulos is a right-wing troll and operative who claims to be ex-gay and says he regards homosexuality as an addiction. She further showed her anger and frustration with her father's words by writing, I want to make one thing absolutely clear. I disowned him, not the other way around. In her first interview on Thursday, Vivian Jenna Wilson, Elon Musk's transgender daughter, opened up about her experiences saying he was an absent father and treated her cruelly as a child because she was queer and feminine. It came as a shock for many people around the world to hear that such an educated and wealthy person could treat his child this way. However, many also believed that Elon's side of the story shouldn't be ignored, as they felt he had a valid point to make as well. A user tweeted, these doctors and medical professionals should be stripped of their licenses and sent to jail for intentionally misleading parents and for the harm done to children. Wilson explained that Elon Musk wasn't tricked into agreeing to her treatment. She said he knew what he was doing when he gave his permission and that both parents had to agree for it to happen. Wilson wanted to make it clear that her dad had a choice and wasn't fooled. She said he knew all the side effects. This shows that she believes he is just trying to blame others for his decisions. In an interview, Wilson said, Musk's recent statements crossed a line. I think he was under the assumption that I wasn't going to say anything and I would just let this go unchallenged, which I'm not gonna do because if you're going to lie about me, like blatantly to an audience of millions, I'm not just gonna let that slide. Wilson shared that, for as long as she can remember, Musk hasn't been a supportive father. He was rarely around, leaving her and her siblings to be cared for by their mother or nannies, even though he had joint custody. When he was around, he often berated her. According to her, Elon wasn't a caring and fatherly figure at all. She said, he was cold, she said. He's very quick to anger. He is uncaring and narcissistic. I mean, can you believe his daughter saying this and revealing Musk's side that no one ever knew about? But that's not even the tip of the iceberg, because you'll be shocked to know that Wilson revealed that when she was a child, Musk would harass her for showing feminine traits and pressure her to act more masculine. He even pushed her to deepen her voice as early as elementary school. I was in fourth grade. We went on this road trip that I didn't know was actually just an advertisement for one of the cars. I don't remember which one. And he was constantly yelling at me viciously because my voice was too high, she said. It was cruel. However, Musk hasn't responded to these comments yet. Before her comments on Thursday, Wilson's Threads account had about 30 followers. But after she spoke out, her follower count shot up by several thousand. Some people showed their support for her stance against Musk, with one person even writing, hope you're not too bothered by what he says about you. Wilson replied, I'm not LL. I've just started to find it funny at this point. Calling me dead on a podcast with Jordan Peterson of all people while basically admitting you have zero reading comprehension by saying you were tricked into signing documents that you read over multiple times is basically a parody of itself. Like, it's honestly camp. Wilson had already shared some thoughts on the Peterson interview by the time Musk's comments about her started getting attention. I look pretty good for a dead bitch, she wrote in reply to a headline about Musk saying she had been killed. 
I didn't know I was dead. This is news to me, she replied to a clip of Musk's comment. She also uploaded a video of herself assuring followers she was fine, actually, and formulating a response. Wilson requested patience as she figured it out. Hold your goddamn horses for five more seconds, okay? I promise it's getting worked on. While Wilson appears upset about her father's alleged inability to accept her, she also seems aware of the side of the world where she was bullied for expressing her femininity. So far, at least one person close to Musk has stepped up to show their support for Wilson. This one person said, I love and am forever endlessly proud of Vivian. On July 25th, Grimes, Musk's ex-partner and mother of three of his children, made a post. She also replied to a troll who was criticizing Vivian, changing what God created, retorting, God gave us hands to build cathedrals, rockets to the moon. It's clearly divine to make use of God's greatest gift to humanity, which is creativity. Musk didn't respond right away to his daughter's comments on Thursday morning. Instead, he shared a video from the 1992 Olympics opening ceremony on X and retweeted an AI-generated image of himself in Roman military armor, which had been posted by a cryptocurrency promoter. The caption says, Now is the time to fight the anti-human woke mind virus with everything. Lately, Musk has shifted hard to the right in his political views launching a campaign against transgender people and the policies that support them. This month, he announced that he's pulling his businesses out of California in protest of a new law that stops schools from forcing trans kids to disclose their identities to their parents. On X, Musk has long been critical of transgender rights, including medical treatments for minors who identify as trans and the use of pronouns that don't match their birth assignments. He's promoted anti-trans content and even suggested that people providing trans care to minors should be arrested. Since buying X, formerly Twitter, in 2022, Musk has rolled back several protections for trans individuals, including the ban on using dead names. In an interview, Musk told Peterson that his drive toward conservative politics has been fueled by his issues with Wilson's gender transition. I vowed to destroy the woke mind virus after that, and we're making some progress, he said. For Wilson, hearing these statements from her father in an interview must have been shocking. While the situation is understandable from Elon's perspective, many people around the world seem to empathize with him and his views. What are your thoughts on this situation? Let me know if you're Team Elon or Team Wilson. And did you guys watch Taylor Swift's mom crying as she can't wait to marry Travis Kelsey? Click on the video to find out.